be the plan, man, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the plan, man, that's what they call me what up, though? It's your boy Foreman. Today, I'm bringing you guys some Rams Seahawks gameplay. And with the Rams being the best current team in Madden 20, I'm expecting this to be a dog fight from beginning to end. Especially when you see that gamer tag golf the chain. You already know this is a huge Rams fan. So I'm pretty sure he knows how to utilize his own team. So as you can see, we come out with the kickoff, and if I'm showing you guys the kickoff, you already know something great happened or something horrible happened. So as you can see right there, we kick it off the Natson, and as he's trying to bring that ball out, my boy gets his hand on him, and we get that strip fumble, baby. I don't think nobody gets as many strip fumbles as I do because I'm hella aggressive with the hit stick, and I'm very aggressive with the strip fumble. It's all about timing. That'll determine whether or not you get those or not. So, in this game, guys, this dude ran primarily a cover for palms look, and that guy who was on the edge always came in free. So, I'm pretty sure he knew something to send four-man heat, and had I not been blocking my running back as much, you know, you see, he would have gotten that heat in every single time. He literally was just sending for it, and that guy was coming free every time. So, as you see... He held us to three, which we'll take it. It was a free three points. So now we're back on D. And uh, the goal is, well, the game plan is simple. Contain Gurley. Contain Gurley and force Golf to make throws. I want to say Golf is like a 78 overall. He's really dropped a lot this year as he throws up a duck. And my boy Griffin can't come down with it. So if we can force Golf to beat us, we'll be perfectly fine. But what I can't allow is for Gurley to beat us as he makes another inaccurate throw right there. And we force him to a fourth down, which is dope for us because we get to see what his fourth down money play is. We've seen what he likes to go to on third down, which is that corner route. But Golf on the run won't be able to make that route. I mean, make that throw. So, as you can see, I'm come out adjusting from what I've seen so far. And off top, I already see I gave up that short corner route to uh Everett the tight end a quick reminder for all you guys i will be going live tonight we'll be streaming i think i'm gonna start the stream at about 7 30 p.m eastern time we'll address the cfm and a few other things so if you guys want to kick it with your boy please come out and support show love again i'll be starting the live stream at 7 30 p.m eastern so if you guys aren't if you don't have it, turn on your notification bell so you know when I go live and when I upload content. So, again, right here, Gurley goes for the run. We blow him up again. Another fumble for us and the opportunity to take a two-possession lead, which is huge against a team like the Rams because you're not really going to be able to get much on that defense. One, because their block shedding is crazy. They probably have the highest block shed of any team on the game. And with him running that cover for us, some palms look, and getting that <clears throat> DT coming free off the right side. I'm not going to be able to get a lot deep. I'm going to have to be really smart with taking my check downs as I cut back for a nice game right there. And I'm going to have to adjust to find a way to be able to run the ball a little bit more effectively than I am right now. And you'll see me do that in the second half. But if I'm successful with it, we don't know yet. And what this look is doing is I'm pretty sure this is not a stock cover four. Because as you see, that guy on the left side is coming out really wide and then closing back in on that corner. I'm not sure exactly what the adjustment was, but I will find out because he played that corner really nicely right there. Only thing is, our defense, is, our defense has been stopped. We're shutting down the run, and we're taking Gurley completely out the game. Um, like I told you guys yesterday, I do got a special vid dropping out probably sometime this weekend. I did with another YouTuber. Uh... The video me and him did today will be dropping on his channel shortly. Uh, shout out to my guy Eli Mack. Really appreciate him uh, just getting the game in with your boy. Uh, he's going to be plugging the channel on his page, so that's going to be dope also. So big shout out to him for doing that because like I told you guys before, it's really hard to get those type of games with other YouTubers who got bigger channels. So again, coming back out on defense. He takes that check down. I do a really good job with Ansa cutting off that and taking away that angle and making the tackle. Whenever you see the Rams, you can be sure it's probably going to be a defensive battle. 
And as you can see, 3-0 coming into the end of the half. We got a defensive battle on our hands. As he does that route right there to Garrett was really good for him as I tried to strip it again. And he went to it a lot. And you'll see in the second half if I'm able to adjust to it. But my main priority is completely shutting down Gurley. Which I'm doing a really good job of, if I may say so myself, because Gurley is Zeke Elliott on steroids. And right there he throws up another duck. But instead of catching it and running, Diggs falls, puts your boy on the one-yard line, which if you get a pick, this is literally the worst-case scenario for the best possible outcome. Getting a pick, but then putting yourself on a one-yard line with Aaron Donald coming off block sheds, even if he's double-teamed, in less than two seconds. So right here, I'm pretty much expecting him to send heat. So I'm just going to block seven. And I'm looking at my check down the whole way because I don't expect Donald to give me that much time. So as you see, Donald in my face, I hit my check down and just decide to punt. We play great defense, so I see no reason not to punt. Right here, he throws it right up in coverage. I click on from McDonald, get a terrible animation, and he takes it in for seven. Luckily for me, I got the ball at half. So seeing that he was in that cover four look, I come out and I form close. It's more of a condensed run set. So I'm pretty much figuring that my blocks will set up a lot cleaner than they was in my wing stack. And I can get more yardage and put myself in better short yard situations. And as you can see, those blocks are lining up perfectly. I'm getting a lot of pancakes because I'm pretty sure he has one more, one or two more DBs on the field than he should. He's has Weddle at linebacker. So with Weddle being that linebacker and those four DBs on the field, I'm actually able to get a lot of pancakes blocks. And that was something I didn't really do in the first half because I was still up. So it was no point in me making a huge adjustment and changing the changing up when I was still up. I was just going to milk that until I was absolutely at, until I absolutely needed to put the adjustment out there. So second half, you'll see your boy doing a lot, a lot of adjustments to take away anything that was successful for him in the first half. And then I'll do a complete flip offensively of what I was running. So you probably won't see any more Y out right now. And then as far as running the ball, I'll go to a more condensed run set just so my blocks can set up a little cleaner and I can get some one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the secondary. As far as his pass go, besides those uh, check those little that little baby corner route to Everett, he hasn't really shown me much that he can do offensively that's going to give me trouble. So again, I try to bait that route, but I'm a little late. He's rolling out with Garrett and uh, trying to just throw that in route. I'm pretty much pretty sure this is the levels play he's running, which isn't going to give me much trouble. I'll give him the check down. All I have to do is just shut Gurley down on first down. And then I can make that check down pretty much irrelevant. As you see, I'm making a lot of adjustments trying to take those routes away. And right there, he throws up another one in traffic. Boom, my boy Diggs comes down with it again. Like I always tell y'all, Seahawks safeties aren't fast, but they make a hell of a lot of plays for your boy. So again, I'm coming back out in that condensed set. He's not coming out that cover four look. So I know my blocks are going to line up right there. 44 does a horrible job of picking up that block. And I'll take that one-on-one -on -one with Barrett because I'm either I'm pretty sure I can beat him inside or just with a quick stop and go, I can get inside leverage on Barrett and I can take it to the house. So as you can see, no more Y out against this cover four. I'm going to give him a completely different look. Uh, I'm going to make my adjustments according to what he's running. So these adjustments aren't stopped for any play. These adjustments are strictly for the person I'm playing. I figured out how to uh, pick up that that blitz he was running with the uh, linebacker coming out free off the edge without having to assign my running back to him so my running back can pay a little bit more attention to Aaron Donald. Even though I'm double teaming him, Aaron Donald blows up double teams regularly with no issues. So right here, going into the fourth quarter, I'm up 10-7. Ideally, I want to get a touchdown. Because three points, even though it's a little bit of a cushion, with that deep ball he got last time, I'm really uncomfortable with getting a stop on him if he throws up that deep ball. Even though Diggs has come down with a few, you know how janky man can be. So right there, he run commits, which I'm going to take note of because if I feel like he's going to run commit again, I'll audible down to a pass and then just lob one up, probably the Lockett or Metcalf on the outside. I think I got Metcalf out there. So, and I've seen who he was using. So, if he does run commit, it'll be an automatic touchdown. But again, as you can see, these are adjustments for his cover four. I'm pretty sure I got his adjustments and everything. 
boom, right there, I go to the corner route because I did not think his guy would play it because usually it splits that cover four and I got the over the top look and then I got that corner route. Uh, with Ramsey on that side of the field, it makes it really hard to get beat anybody deep. But I noticed that he left that in route wide open. So as you can see on third and long, I'm going to go right back to it. Um, I want to see if he's seen it, but I'm going to put a motion slat on the field just to hold that user and to get him to follow it to clear that middle completely out because that's the weakness of cover four. When you're playing against the cover four, the weakness of that zone is the everything underneath in the intermediate middle of the field because he only has one zone there, his user, that has to cover up all that ground. So if I can take all that away, it'll really open up the field and I can force him out of this cover four. This year, cover four is really good if you have really good user and really good adjustments. And this guy seems to have both of those as he blows me up in the backfield when I try to run at this cover four out of shotgun. So again, the game is all about adjustment. Just small, small adjustments make a huge difference. I didn't make any too, like any really, really large adjustments that I'm showing you guys offensively, but it was just knowing the type of coverage he was playing he was committed to this coverage, so I needed to get something on the field that could hinder him from running that cover four look. And those really small compressed run sets really, really, really help you run against those cover four looks. Because the cover four is a lot more spread with those four quarters on quarter deep blues on the field. So that even his press look out of cover four, as you can see, is really spaced out against my condensed running set so all my blocks should line up perfectly as they do right there again and my boy penny going to the crib man like i tell you guys all the time simple adjustments make a really 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 huge difference when you're playing against uh really good players not sure what this guy was ranked not in the top 100 and i didn't get a lot of ranking points for beating him but as you can see right there he gets ghosts on your boy on the kickoff, you know if I'm showing you the kickoff, it was really good or it was really bad. So, even though I'm tight, I'm not too tight because his only points have come off a kick return and a throwing traffic. Other than that, he's been boxed the entire game. So, I just need to go down here, get seven, and close this game out. But that's going to be really tough because the Rams are the best team in the league because Ramsey has the capability to shut down the entire right of the field. And Aaron Donald is a walking nano blitz himself. You, he can't be covered by one guy, and he almost can't be covered with a double team. He'll blow through a lot of double teams. If you watch Donald carefully in this video, he blows up a lot of double teams and gets a lot of insta sheds too. So as you can see right here, I got him out of the cover four, and I got him into like a, I want to say this was a cover two invert that looked like a cover three. So... I'm still going to run the I-form close because I don't want to switch back to my single back wing stack because I wasn't doing as well with that as I would like to. So I want to see the look he's going to give me, and he comes back out in that cover two, that invert look. I know it's invert because how those two safeties on the left lined up on the field, so I'm going to my Y out because I know I'll be able to hit the corner route against this defense. I'm a double team Aaron to give myself a little bit of time, as you can see. He screams off that left edge, but he leaves that corner route wide open, and I check down to that right there. So, like I said, just recognizing coverage, and as you play more, you see what coverage beat what. And I already knew I'd be able to get that corner route against that play or that check down on the left side of the field, running from the left to the right side of the field will open up, and I'd be able to hit that. So, again, he's coming out in a really, like, bringing all his guys down to the line is never a good look against me. And Penny's a little bit sluggish right there, and he gets caught by Ramsey. But I already know if he comes out in that look again, it's a touchdown automatically. I'm running the stretch, and as you can see from his player, his blitz is everything coming right up the middle. So I'm going to be able to seal the, seal the outside because all his guys are blitzing inside, and it does his run fit doesn't fit what I'm doing offensively, and I'm basically going to the crib. So he comes right back out in that defense. I ID the mic on a high safety. I fake like I'm going to go the other way with the foot tap just to, you know, hold him a little bit. I'm waiting to the clock to run down, and then boom, hike. And as you can see, I'm gone. One cut inside, and your boy off to the crib. Uh, I want to say he quits out on this match. 
Yeah, let's. Yep, he does quit. So again, I appreciate you guys rocking with your boy. I'll see you guys tonight at 7:30 Eastern for the stream. I'm out, y'all. Peace.